Salamun alaykum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuhu sisters and brothers peace be upon all of you this is your brother here ultimate truth yes uh, just making a video um, just a follow up on something uh, just to show the hypocrisy of christian prince the hypocrisy of david wood the hypocrisy of all the christian apologetics you know they used to hate each other christian prince used to hate those people, because each of them was on the other guy's way. Now they got a new guy called Al-Fahdi. They hate him, but they won't show it. Yes, they, they all hate him. You know, they all divided first. They hate, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, 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 what's his name, James? Uh, what's his name? Um, I forget his name. Um, James, uh, what's his name? I forget his, his name. Uh, you, you know who I'm talking about. Something gems or gems something, so uh, they hate him. Now they got now Christian Prince got now an opponent. That's uh, that's uh, Al Fahdi, who speaks way better English than all of them. Who speaks way better, better, better Arabic than than uh, Christian Prince, and they don't like him. He invited them last week, but what I noticed was the hypocrisy of Christian Prince. When David Wood invited him for the first time, he was down there lying on Islam. First, he's, he's, he's really lying on his own. He's saying that he's a hypocrite. He's saying it. Because he, he was talking about the way how to debate Muslims, how to debate really not Muslims, but Arabs. But he's an Arab. He's, he's trying to say Muslims, but he's really saying Arabs. So he's insulting himself, and David Wood is laughing at him. So he's saying that he'd be converting a lot of people to two words. To, uh, to Christianity, but really he's not converting anybody. If your job is Christian prince, I'm talking to you right now, if your job is to convert Muslims into Christianity, why don't you have numbers? He never had numbers. I've been watching him for the last seven months. I know him for now seven, six, seven months. I, I've seen three or four people who said that they converted. One said he converted because of Muhammad Hijab. After the debate between Muhammad Hijab and David Wood, he said Muhammad Hijab was so arrogant that he decided to leave Islam and to join Christianity. What a, what a dumb decision. If you got to join a, a, a religion, you know, or leave a religion, it cannot be because of somebody. And if you join a, a, a religion, it cannot be because of somebody. it got to be because of their book. Jesus is not here. Muhammad is not here. You got the Bible. You got the Quran. Go ahead, study them, and say and and reject one, and 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 go ahead and adopt one. No, you're saying that Muhammad Hijab made you leave Islam and join Christianity. Jesus is telling you that he's not God. Jesus, God is Allah. He said, Allah, Allah, la masa uh, uh, la God, God, why why have you uh, forsaken me? So he's thinking that he was forsaken, but he was not. He never was crucified. They never killed him. They never crucified him. I already made a video on that, that they crucified Jesus Barabbas, that Jesus Christ was, was saved. Those dummies did not know that Jesus Barabbas, which you can find in your new international version or your your new revised, uh, uh, your new uh, RSV, you, you can find it in Matthew uh, 27, 17, Jesus Barabbas, who do you want me to release? Is it Jesus Barabbas or Jesus the so-called Messiah? Messiah being translated as Christ. So Jesus is not God. You've been challenged for years. Show us anywhere where Jesus said, I am God, or worship me. Nowhere in the Bible, Jesus claimed that. Do you know how many times Allah said, worship me in the Quran? Do you know how many times the name Allah is in the Quran? Just Allah. 2,698 times. 2,698 times Allah, 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 Allah. Your heart, your heart is beating every day. Allah, Allah. Allah, not Jesus, Jesus, you know it's not. It's Allah, not God, God. You know your heart is not saying God. Listen to your heart. Go ahead. 
take an extra test cup, put it in your ears, you can leave, you can hear it. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah is written all over you. So don't join Christianity because of Muhammad Hijab or because of Christian Prince. And Christian Prince got zero. And as a guy that joined a week later, the guy that said, Oh, I'm just a Muslim like that. I don't fast. Uh, I'm just a I just got a Muslim name. And the guy finally said, Okay, now he's a Christian. And a week later, the guy called. He didn't know that was a guy. And I'm listening to them. And the guy said that he, and Christian Prince asked him, Are you a Muslim? He said, No. He said, What are you? He said, I am an agnostic. That's the guy who just, so he just left Christianity then. <laughs> so you made the guy leave Christianity for real. Now he became an agnostic. I called him. I said, hey, this guy just called you last week. And he, and he said that he converted to Islam. No, to uh, Christianity from Islam. And now he's an agnostic. Dummy. So he's not, conf give us numbers. If, if that is your job, every year you should be having a video or, pub, or you know, pu publishing Everyone that you convert it to Christianity, you can, you 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 are not gonna do that because you you even can have five a year, and those five are not because of you. No, those Christians saying that they're dead for entertainment, to laugh, to mock, but you're not converting anybody. But Allah, if the world would have all been Christianity, it wouldn't bother Allah. That's what you don't know. But the world is not going to be Christian. The world is going to become Muslims. There's nothing you can do about it because Allah promised so. Every year, at least 30,000 Americans, just in the United States, 30 plus thousand people are converting to Islam from Christianity. What can you do about it? And you think that four or five people are going to, are, are going to mess up Islam? No. They're not guided. And they're not even converting, for real. Give us numbers. Give us names. So over here, Christian Prince, what I want to show in this video is Christian Prince mentioned Surah 5. When Allah said, today I have completed your religion today. He's going to quote that verse and he's saying, how can Allah say that? If it is in Surah number 5, there is 90, yeah, there's 109 more left. So if the religion is complete at Surah 5, how can be Allah saying that? So then what is the necessity of revealing 109 more uh, chapters? You see how hypocrite he is? He's a hypocrite because he knows well that surah number 5 is 112 revealed. The order of revelation is different from the order in the Quran. That's 112 out of 114 surahs revealed. So he's a liar. But he's going to prove that he's a hypocrite. Like I said, Allah said, Allah Arabu ashad the kufran wunifakan. Arabs are the worst in disbelief and hypocrisy. He's going to show it. First, he's going to insult the Arab, saying that they cannot debate. They have to insult people. And second, he's going to say that Surah 9 now, Surah 9 is 113th revealed, right? Right after, and we can really say that they was being revealed at the same time. Because a lot of surahs, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 surahs was being revealed at the same time. So Surah 9 and Surah, and Surah 5 was being revealed at the same time. Yes, Surah 5 got started first. Yes, but they was being revealed at the same time. And if you look at the two last verses of Surah 5, they was revealed after Surah, uh, of Surah 9. They was revealed after, if we go to, according to the Sunni, according to the Sunnis, if those two chapters are considered, uh, uh, those two verses, they were, they were revealed in Mecca. So after, when Muhammad came back to Mecca, so after Surah 5 was revealed. But he's going to say that Surah now, 9 now, because he was emphasizing on the violence in Surah 9, he's saying that's the last Surah. Now Surah 5 is the first Surah, one of the first Surahs, but Surah 9, which is 9 in the Quran, he's not looking at it. If he would have been just uh, uh, in good faith, if five is in the beginning, nine is in the beginning too. No, but nine is, is last according to him. You, you're going to hear him say that. But five is first according to him. Hypocrisy. Let's, let's listen to him. Uh, lots of Muslims, contrary to what many Christians in the West believe, lots of Muslims do listen to you and they leave Islam. And many of them become Christians. So uh, what kind of results uh, have you seen over the years? 
Um, actually, I can't say to you. Uh, over oh, wait. The... Hey, well, you just got uh, your sound got much more clear. All right, that's good. I Did changed. I changed the microphone from my side, actually. Maybe this is what what was a switch. Uh, oh yeah, that's perfectly clear now, guys. Uh, does that sound that sound better? Was, uh, yeah, there were people. There were people. Uh, yeah, perfectly all clear now. All right. All right. Uh, you see, I have in the last few months, I have I don't know how many. I cannot even count how many people left us now. And uh, you know, I don't change the way I talk. This is how I, the way I talk. Uh, this is the way I even I, I I mean even when I speak to Christians. I mean, if somebody uh, he says something I don't like, I you know I speak. This is how I am. I don't. I don't. I am not someone else. This is how I am. And who so did you hear him? So he's saying as an Arab because he's not a Muslim. Remember that. But then he's going to try to pin it on Muslims. Listen to him. He's just saying even to the Christians, this is how I talk. So he's talking as an Arab then. So he's really exposing not Muslims, but Arabs. Like it, like it, or don't like it, it's up to him. I mean, what I can do. I mean, you don't like it, don't listen to me. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I have to say, um, it's when I, especially when I think about people in the Middle East, right? Uh, Assyrians, um, uh, the, the Copts in Egypt, the, the Christians in Pakistan, when I think what they have, what they have gone through historically um, due to Islam, if the biggest criticism you can say is, guys, you're being too harsh when you're criticizing this ideology that has been oppressing your people for centuries, that's kind of a, as, as, as someone who lives in America, I just don't think it's my place to tell people who come from that sort of background how they should be talking about Islam. You see, uh, David, you did uh, just a few, uh, uh, maybe a month or six weeks ago, you, you debated a guy, his name is Mimi Hijab. And you saw how he was trying uh, all his best just to humiliate and to insult, but mm -hmm. not to debate. Yeah. The reason, you know, uh, uh, for him, you are too nice because you are not coming from the same background. For him, humiliation background. is a way of winning it's not he when he may make fun even though he's saying stupid things uh, even though he said the most stupid things ever which is against islam i mean he not only he lost the debate he looked like an idiot in the village so yet he think by making fun he is the winner so this is a culture thing this is a mentality this is a mindset uh, uh, if you don't understand them uh, you know like uh, you will not even able to go through their mind mm -hmm. Uh, uh, they they are they are grow they grow this way, and they think if you are kind, that's mean you are weak, and if you are uh, you know very gentle and you are not rude, that's mean you don't uh, you know uh, you are afraid. You know that's how they see it. Mm -hmm. For me, did you hear that? They now he tried to separate himself. He said said we because he said that's the culture, that's the Arab culture. Now he's trying to he said I, even myself I talk like that and he does. He said hey if you don't want, like it leave. He'd be cursing, he'd be yelling, he'd be screaming at his disciples. So that's not really Islam then. That's just Arab. You know, uh, uh, I am from there. I know how to speak to them. Actually, this is why they don't want to get close to me. See? Yeah. That, so that's you yeah, too. And, uh, it's interesting. Uh, in, in the, in the, for, for that debate, they made me agree ahead of time that uh, I would be very nice and not be insulting at all and uh, be very friendly. The ins Yes, because you was a coward. Because you, because you, you're a faggot. That's all you are, David Wood. You be in your living room insulting people. But when you go outside, you're a chicken. Just go ahead, and do what you do. You dead in your living room or in your wherever you are in your house, in your office, doing whatever you want to do, insulting Muhammad, insulting Muslims. Why don't you do it? If you're real, just do whatever you're doing inside your house. Do it outside, because you're chicken. That's all it is. Nothing else. Higher time, and. Uh... So it, it seems they under they understand as well that if you can get the Christian debater to be nice the entire time, and the Muslim to be insulting, yes, there are Westerners who will watch that and think, oh, this you know, why is this guy being so insulting? But uh, lots of Muslims, boy, they they love it. Now, uh, Western culture got nothing to sell to anyone to anyone's culture. I'm African. You are savages. Western cultures. You you, you want to teach something to the world? You you enslave the world? You bombed Iraq, uh, 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 countries. President Trump j just said that you was wrong about Iraq. You know, Japanese, Indi Native Am Americans, slavery. What do you can say? Western. What is Western? You are the, you, you are the most 
I mean, ridiculous people in the world. After all you done to the world, and you got a ghost to talk about something, you have no values, no ethics, zero. We're going to take some questions here in a minute. I had a, I had two questions just on the Arabic, since you're a native Arabic speaker. Not not anything specific, but basically here's here's the idea. Um, the main argument that that the Quran gives for its uh, divine inspiration is what I call the argument for for. The argument from literary excellence, meaning that it's just so amazingly written that it, it has to come from God. But I read the Quran a lot, and I just think it's the most horrible book that I've ever read. I would literally rather read a phone book than read the Quran. I do read the Quran because, you know, I have to interact with Muslims. But if I were just picking something that I want to read, I would actually pick a phone book before I would read the Quran. It's, it's organized horribly. It jumps around from topic to topic. You can't make sense of anything it's saying. I mean, at least a phone book is organized. Um, and, you know, all these uh, uh, calls for violence and so on. But I'm told by Muslims that this is only because I'm reading it in English. If I were to read it in Arabic, then I would see that it's clearly miraculous, the greatest book, so great that uh, human beings couldn't have written it. So when you read the Quran in Arabic, how do you... First of all, it's not just in Arabic, it's even English in any language which the Quran is translated into. The way it is disposed, the way it is arranged, the stories, talking about the stories, they're perfectly done. Every story could be told. Uh, you can use an anecdote, the same anecdote, in seven, ten different cases. You might be talking to your kid, you use that same anecdote. You might be talking to your co-workers, you use that, you use that same anecdote. That's all Allah, Allah is doing. If you go somewhere to the airport and have a problem with something about something, you can tell it. In any kind of situation, you, you can tell it one million times in your life in one million different situations. That, that's what Allah do. Allah is explaining to you some situation, and he's using one anecdote. He's using about Moses and Pharaoh, or he's using about uh, Solomon and the queen of, uh, of, of Sheba. And, or, or he's telling you about the story uh, between, uh, between Jesus and, and the Jews. Every story he's, he's going to tell you is about a specific situation that can be used in other different specific situations. What's wrong with it? You do it all your time. And, you, and you're saying that Allah is not organized? Allah is organized. Now, when it comes to the writing, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the poetic, when Allah said, Uluhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakun Lukufu Nahad. You can hear the rhymes. Yes, those you can see only see in Arabic. Because if you translate, the rhymes are gone. When Allah said, uh, 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 Allah said, Allah uh, said, Allah 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 said, you hear every rhyme ending by A, 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 A. Yes, this you, you can only see in Arabic. You're just being dummy. Let's listen to what, what this dummy is going to say. How do you resist the power of the Quran to compel you to believe that it is the word of God? You know, the answer is from the Quran. If you go to chapter 8, verse number 31, the Arab, they were making fun of the Quran, saying this is the fairy tales of the older, the elders. And if we wish, we can be... No. The Arab said, this is magic. Think about it. The Arab was amazed. They said, this is nothing in Haza illa suhrun yusr. This is only but magic. How can somebody speak and you say this magic? If somebody, if, if, if uh, David Blaine uh, made some, a trick of a card, you, you say it's magic because you don't understand. Somebody uh, do some magic and then uh, 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 Houdini uh, brought a, a whole train a magic whatever, whatever is magic is visual but think about somebody speaking and you saying this is magic you already accepted the miracle you already accepted really that this is out of the ordinary 
You said this is nothing but magic. How can somebody speak? How can the words be magic? I'm speaking English to you, but you're saying that my English is magic. It's because you're already convinced. It's because you already are amazed. You 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 don't get it. Now let 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 let's hear him lie. Lie. Better than this. Everybody can go and read it. This is a book full of mistakes in Arabic, in a grammar, in a spelling, in a pronunciation. You and damn liar. You know, uh, uh, they, they fabricate tons of stories. Here we go, we are the Arab Christian. Why we are not amazed? I mean, if Muhammad, he was able to make people to uh, to convert to Islam by just hearing the Quran, so why did they not convert? Why Muhammad? Uh, oh, yes, they're converting. But they're not guided. Some are not guided. Those are guided are converting. <laughs> it used to be 5% of Meccan that used to be Muslims. Now, what, what is it now? 100%? They are converting. It used to be zero in the United States. How many are there now? Millions. It used to be zero around the world. How, how, how many are we now? 1.7 billion, 1.8 billion. What are you talking about? Now, uh, 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 palindromes. You got your best palindrome is race car in the United States. Allah speak words, the whole sentence. Kullun fi falakin yasbahun. They all orbits. They all orbits. Can you write a phrase a sentence, they all orbits in 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 palindrome. You can't. Kullun fi falakin yasbahun. Kullun fi falakin. You come from the right is kullun fi falakin. You come from the left is kullun fi falakin. They orbit. They all orbit. Can you do that? They all turn. Talking about the sun and the moon. Then all the planets. Or when Allah said, your God worship or your God follow. Rabbaka fakabbir. Rabbaka fakabbir is a palindrome. You can see that. You only can see that in Arabic. If you write it in, 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 in French or in English or in Fulani or in Spanish or Chinese or Japanese, you're not going to see that. Dummies. He went in war. Here we go. They are Arab in his time and they were making fun of the Quran. So if you go in the Quran, you will find uh, 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 the word fairy tale mentioned nine times. The Arab, they say to Muhammad, this is fairy tale and this is stupid. And then the Quran they say says, well, it's stupid. Can you make something like it? And this is... They said fairy tales because he was telling them about stories of Moses. If in your Bible, the Bible, Moses, those miracles, they said it's fairy tale. But are they fairy tale? Your Bible says it's not fairy tale. So if you believe that they're fairy tales, so you, you, are, you are denying your own Bible. All the stories are in your Bible, dummy. So this is a stupid challenge. I mean, I'm just saying to you, this is stupid. You say to me, can you make some stupid like mine? So, uh, uh, Muhammad, he did not succeed in the Arabic. The Arabic is a stupid language, the way he used it. And he was, uh, the, the, uh, the Arabic in the Quran is a croak Arabic, is not correct Arabic. Uh, and if you, if you want to talk about the Book of Wisdom, you know, I don't know if you can open chapter 24, verse number 61, and read to the audience. And they will be astonished about how stupid this book is. I mean, this is a God who speak and he teach and he squeeze his head and he send an angel with a message from thousands and millions of miles away. Remember where Allah, God knows where Allah is. And now he come to us to say to us, and eat alone. And you can eat in your home. And you can eat with your sister. And you can eat in the, in the, in the house of your mother. Anybody can read the verse, chapter 24, verse number 61. Want me to go ahead and read it for everyone? Go ahead. All right. So this is the greatest book ever written that can only be written by God, everyone. Yes, sir. There is no blame on the blind man, nor is there blame on the lame, nor is there blame on the sick, nor on yourselves, that you eat from your houses, or your father's houses, or your mother's houses, or your brother's houses, or your sister's houses, or your paternal uncle's houses, or your paternal aunt's houses, or your maternal uncle's houses, or your maternal aunt's houses, or what you possess the keys of, or your friend's houses. It is no sin in you that you eat together or separately. So when you enter houses, greet your people with a salutation from Allah, blessed and goodly. Thus does Allah make clear to you the communications that you may understand. And I think, I think uh, everyone in the chat is ready to recite the Shahada, if they haven't already, because that is so masterfully written. I mean, you won't see that. Massively written in thing, but dummy, remember how the verse start by the, uh, with a blind man, with a handicapped people, with a sick people. Some people got taboos still 
I told him in India, as of right now, some women do not eat with their family. The men and the kids got to eat first. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to prove you to that. And then the woman eats later. That's, that's in some, I told you, in my, it used to be in my own culture that I cannot eat with my, with my, uh, with my mother-in-law or with my father-in-law. I cannot sit in the same thing. I cannot sit having a debate, a nice regular debate with my in-laws. Those are taboos. They used to be. Allah said, listen, the sick or the blind or the handicapped or the one who, whatever they got as disease or as handicap, they're human beings. Eat with them. Whether they're your son, whether they're your mother, whether they're your father, whether they're your wife, whether they're your kids, eat with them. That, that's all it was. Because Allah, and, 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 and you don't know what's going to happen in the world. The Quran is not temporary. The Quran is for the world. You don't know what's going to happen later. You don't know what happened before. Allah is taking care of problems throughout time. Not just within the Arabs. No, just within every, whoever is, he, uh, he said, Allah is saying, Quran balak. To warn those who are here and whoever it might reach. So if it reaches you, so go by the, go, go by the Quran, go by Islam. So eat with your people. Stop discriminating. Dummies, you don't get it. That's it. I mean, it's no sin on you, no sin. I mean, imagine he's saying no sin if you eat alone or if you eat with somebody else. I mean, this is madness, this is stupid. All right, just to prove to you, this is a BBC reportage in India. BBC, you can see on the top. This is an Indian woman eating with their family for the first time. For the first time, some Indian woman eating with their families. You see, don't you see? 1400 years ago, Allah is talking about it. This is the reporter. This is the white guy going to India. Look at him. The woman used to be eating separate. Can you see? Now here. Meals have a way of bringing families together. As food is laid out, everyone gathers around the table. Conversation flows and family bounds. But traditionally, eating together has not been encouraged in India. Men and children are fed first, and only then can women sit down to eat. But in millions of poor homes, this practice has had an unintended consequence. Malnutrition among women. Now, this is changing. Allah is talking about this. Go and watch it here. Just type in BBC, Indian woman eating for the thing. And you will see it. So those people are lying. This is actually in 2019. Look at this. September 11, 2017. This article was written by Gita Pandey, BBC News, Delhi. So you're ignorant. You even don't know what's going on around the world. That's ridiculous. Restaurants, what do you want to eat? You are blind, you cannot walk, or you are sick, and even if you are they not used to any say of those, blind, still don't you can eat. eat at home. I mean, look at the news. It used to be said, is if a blind guy eat to your house, you know, you might be having, your next kid might be blind. Or if, you have, if your wife is pregnant, you don't want to handicap people to be working in your house or eating in your house. Those are taboos. Or if, you, if, if your wife is pregnant, don't have poor people coming into your house because your kid might, 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 might end up being poor. Stuff like that. So people used to be having taboos. Allah said, no, forget about this. Eat together. Be a family. Love each other, white and black. Wife and husband. Father and mother. Father and son. Dummies. Muhammad, he came to us with something beyond intelligence. It's like super. And then he says to us, you can eat in the house of your mother. Finally, I'm going to call my mother and tell her, hey, mom, I can eat in your house. You're dummy. She will say to me, you don't get it. You don't house, get it, dummy. Life. So what is this is about? This is silly. This Go is to the stupid. next one. So uh, you, 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 you said uh, you, you brought up a couple points there. But, but basically, um, what I hear from Muslims is... 
you know, if you just read the Quran in Arabic, you'll find out that it is the word of Allah, and true Arabic speakers will, will yes. recognize that. You're pointing they out did. That even they said to Quran, this is a magic of time, all of whom were Arabic speakers, they thought the Quran was a was a big joke. Well, all of them, and actually, Muhammad, you don't even have a book. You see, if you go and read the book of the Quran, uh, uh, okay, uh, you know, if you go to the to the Bible, you, know, you want to search where God, how He created things. You go to the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. Where in the Quran we can find how God created the whole earth and heaven? It's all over. It's like somebody he put a bunch of papers in the front yes, of the Yes, he's gonna tell a story depending where. And we when them together, we make a book. you can grasp so that nothing there makes make, make sense. And then, you know, uh, 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 if, if you go in the Quran, you will find uh, things because of this madness. Uh, the Quran says that today, as an example, in chapter three, verse number seven, today, I completed your religion for you, accepted Islam for you. Chap and cha then chapter five, why? chapter five, you know, not because, three. Uh, 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 you know, stop lying. Uh, uh, Chapter you know, five. We like see. We, we make you. He not know what he's know, talking like, about. Not to eat pigs. Not to eat pork. Mm -hmm. So so when the Quran speak uh, about about religion, then we will find you know, you know like I, mean, I don't know how to explain to you. Uh, I wish everybody can you know uh, uh, speak Arabic because you will die laughing from the stupidity of this Arabic. Uh, uh, he know what he's talking Quran, about. As an example. In chapter 3, verse number 85, it says, The one who accepts other than Islam, Allah will not accept from him. And then Allah, in the same chapter, he says to us that the Christians and the Jews and the Sabi and they will go to heaven. Then, but Allah, why you call him Christians and why Allah, you call them Sabi? Allah said that conditionally. Allah said twice. In two, 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 in two chapter 2, verse... Let, let, let's, let, let's go to it. Let's go to it. All right, here it is, chapter chapter 2, Al-Baqarah, verse 62. 262, you can see it right here. Allah says, Indeed, those who believe in the Lazina Amanu, talking about Muslims, those who were Jews, those who are Christians or Sabians, those among them who believe in Allah, believe, it's not believed. Over here, Muslims put it in, in the past, it's not in the past. Is in the present time. Who believe in Allah and the last day. You got to believe in Allah. You got to believe in the last day. And you got to lead a righteous life. If you do that. Allah said. They will have their reward with their Lord. And they will never fear concerning. Uh, uh, they will never be fear concerning them. And they will never grieve. Yes. If you believe in Allah. And if you believe in the last day, you said last day depends, you even don't know what, even your God does not know when the last day is going to be. You said the last day, it depends. So now the last day depends on people. They're saying that if the, the more sins, the faster the last day. And the less sins, so they're saying that if there is no sin in the world, if everybody becomes a, 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 a devoted Christian, it's not going to be no last day. That's what you're saying. Dummies, is it, Allah said the last day is fixed. Already. So your God doesn't even know when the last day is going to be. Yes, Allah said, those who are Christians, those who are Jews or the Sabians, if you believe in Allah in the last day and if you lead a righteous life. What is right, righteous life? For the righteous life, let's go to 2177. Now, you're going to know what living righteously means. Okay. Now, Allah told you in 262 and 569, if you're Christian or if you're at the, uh, whoever you are, uh, Christian or uh, uh, people of the book, Christians or Jews or Sabians, if you believe in Allah as the one and only God, not Trinity, not Ken Trinity, not Six Trinity or Six Trinity, whatever, you believe in one God and you live the righteous life and you live and you believe in the hereafter. Now, what is righteousness? Is Here it is. And I said, righteousness is not that you turn your faces toward east or west. But true righteousness is the one, what, uh, what uh, 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 first believe in Allah, the last day, the angels, the book, and the prophets, and give wealth in spite, of, in spite of love for it. Don't love the wealth, give the wealth to relatives, to orphans, 
to the needy, to the traveler, and those who ask for help, and those who free slaves, those who establish prayers and give zakat, those who, feel, who fulfill their promises when they promise. If you said, I'm going to do something, you do it. Those who are patient in poverty and hardship, enduring battles, those are the ones who have been true, and it is those who are righteous. Yes, we got to put the verses together, dummies. Uh, Jews, if they are Muslims, this is stupid. If you go to chapter 5, verse number three, uh, 3, it says that Allah, he forbid for you, etc., 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 etc. And then he said, today I completed my favor upon you and choosing Islam as religion for you. But this is the chapter 5, verse number 3. Did you hear him? It is in the beginning of the Quran. This verse can be accurate if him? this is at the, la the last verse in the Quran. See him? Like Jesus in the cross says, it's complete. See him? Here. It says complete in the beginning of the Quran. How we can solve this problem? This problem can be solved easy by saying, okay, the one who made the book, he took this verse, he put it here, but it should be at the end of the book. And yet the Muslims, they say to us that this is the book of Allah. If, if Muhammad said this verse in the beginning, that means all the chapter after chapter 5, verse number 3 are fabricated. Because he just said, I don't know if you can read it for us, uh, 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 David. This is crazy. How he, uh, he, how he uh, uh, complete the... He's saying that, Allah is saying that I have completed for you. That, that's what I was talking about in the beginning. The chapter 5 is 112 out of 114 revealed. The chapter 5 was being revealed at the same time that the chapter 9. Now, re, now, just, now think about this. He said chapter 5, because it is in the beginning of the Quran, it is the beginning in the revelation. No, it is 112 out of 114 revealed. So it is at the end of Islam when Allah said that. Yes, chapter 5 was being revealed at the same time that chapter 9. And after that, there is three of uh, six verses of Surah 110 that was revealed. That was it. It was no other rules or anything like that. Yes, the, the, the deen was complete. The religion was completed on chapter 5. Show me one new rule about food, about praying, about going to Mecca, about zakah, everything about the Tawheed, about everything in Islam was done in the 112 first chapters. Everything else is just uh, uh, telling you stories, warning you about something, be, be righteous, be this, be that. That's it. But the religion is completed. That's it. Don't be lying. Don't be lying. Um, chapter 5, verse 3. Forbidden to you is that which dies of itself, and blood, and flesh of swine, and that on which any other name than that of Allah has been invoked, and the strangled, and that beaten to death, and that killed by a fall, and that killed by being smitten with the horn, and that which wild beasts have eaten, except what you slaughter, and what is sacrificed on stones, set up for idols, and that you divide by the arrows that is a transgression this day have those who disbelieve despaired of your religion so fear them not and fear me this day have i perfected for you your religion and completed my favor on you and chosen for you islam as the as a religion but whoever is compelled by hunger not inclining willfully to sin then surely allah is forgiving merciful i'm sure there are uh here more people, even more people, ready to yes. recite the shahada. Yes. That. Yes. So he completed. His yes, he completed it. Oh, let's listen. Favor upon them by saying to them, "You cannot eat pork." That's it. Islam is complete now. So all those the chapters after, and here you notice. I don't know if you notice with me, uh, uh, David, that in the same verse at the end it says, "After all what he forbid, if you are hungry, still you can eat all of those, which means you can eat pork." Even pork you can eat. Yes. But then we find this is a contradiction for chapter 2, verse number 65. Isn't it Allah who cursed the Jews and he made them pigs and monkeys because they broke the Sabbath? Mm -hmm. Why they broke the Sabbath? Because they are hungry. Mm -hmm. Because Don't be lying. Allah said in a, in a situation that that's laws. Allah tested the Jews. Don't eat that. Allah tested Adam. Don't eat that. Allah tested us. Don't eat this. But if you're in a situation where you, can, you, you have nothing to eat, and you've seen pork, go ahead and eat it. He didn't tell it to the Jews. He, he said to the Jews, don't eat this. He, he said something different to, to other people. He's telling us, you cannot marry this and this and that. 
he didn't say that to other people. Prohibitions are different depending of Allah changes his rules whenever he wants to change his rules. You don't discuss Allah's rules. How? Look at your Bible. It's filthy. And no filthy in the, in the Quran. Your Bible, people sleeping with their own daughters. With their, you know, in, the, in your Bible, Abraham married his sister. In your Bible, uh, 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 Isaac married uh, 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 Rebecca when she was three. In your Bible, uh, 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 your God married his own mother. In your Bible, uh, David killed his soldier just because he impregnated his wife. That's in your Bible. You can say nothing about Islam. Now, let's go. Now, I'm going to go to his debate with Al-Fahdi. Remember over here how he said Surah 5 was, was in the beginning? Just because it was in the beginning of the Quran, he's, he's not looking at the order of revelation. Now, let's see how he's going to put number 9 at the, end of revel uh, at the end of the Quran, which is in the 9th of the Quran, but he's going to say it's at the end because he knows that number 9 is 113 out of 114. But he did know too that number 5 is 112 out of 114, but he, he wasn't going to mention it. He's going to act like number, uh, number 5 is number 5 revealed. Dummy. All right. Here is a live for Al Fahdi. This, they, they're here talking about chapter 9 uh, about fight those who fight you. Just let's listen. About Muslims will. Uh... Uh, you know, uh, play on this uh, concept of abrogation or no, chapter 9 doesn't really abrogate anything and it's only for self-defense and so on and so forth. What, uh, you know, what do we say to that? I mean, how can you convince someone who doesn't know anything about the doctrine of abrogation, for instance? Yeah. You want to chime in first? Okay. Um, okay. I mean, I would say if, if, if you don't have a doctrine of abrogation, then um, the Quran is hopelessly confusing and contradictory that's right. right that's right that's the easy uh, way you, 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 here's what you have right because uh you know commands like fight those who fight you versus uh fight those who do not believe or fight the unbelievers who are near to you and things like that um those are commanding you to do different things um and so you, you basically you only have a couple of options you can say well the quran is just contradicting itself um, or you could say Allah is, is, a, is a horrible communicator. <laughs> or you could say, well, the classic, traditional, orthodox, Islamic method of dealing with these differences is the, the doctrine of abrogation. Which, whichever one came uh, later, uh, it abrogates or cancels the earlier revelation. And so that's tr traditionally that's how you do away with these di with these discrepancies and and uh, contradictory commands and so if they want to throw that out great then your your god is a horrible horrible communicator and he he seemed to have uh his his ability to communicate clearly seems to have been reduced the further you go down the road right like they want to say oh when he said to you be your religion and to me be my religion that's what that's what he meant clearly right there when he said fight those who fight you that's what he, that's what he meant when he said fight those who believe not in allah there what he really meant was and so allah's ability to communicate clearly apparently he he was getting dementia in his old age or something like that because <laughs> his ability to communicate clearly uh diminished um, throughout the course of the Quran. So they, obviously, obviously, they don't want to say something like that. And so they're stuck with, they're just stuck with abrogation or, or Allah's got some serious issues. I just want to confirm what he said. He is a terrible communicator because CP just established, instead of saying Allah is one, Allah end up saying Allah, he is one of. So yeah, he's a horrible communicator. Yeah, but I thought this point. is a book of a detailed explanation in clear Arabic. First of all, Allah said in two, in a, in the 929, you shall fight those, you shall fight against those who do not believe in Allah, nor in the last day, nor do they prohibit what Allah in his messenger has prohibited, nor do they abide by the religion of truth, the rules, among those who receive the scripture, among those who receive the scripture until they pay the due tax, willingly or unwillingly. You gotta pay taxes. Everywhere you go. We pay taxes. You got to pay it. Fight till they pay the taxes. You don't fight t t t t till you kill them. No, they refuse to pay the taxes. They got to pay taxes. Wherever you leave, you got to pay taxes. I'm really surprised that you guys uh, couldn't understand it. 
I mean, he said he got old. He forgot. Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Now, wh- wh- one of the really uh, the, the, the problems with the, using this argument that it's self-defense, uh, nowhere, nowhere that you, you would find this concept in chapter 9 that it was for self-defense. Or even in many of these verses that they use, I mean, we know that jihad, if you want to look at it historically, went through this, uh, different stages. But at the end of the day, chapter 9 definitely trumps everything. I mean, the sword verse alone have been uh, irresponsible single-handedly for canceling at least 124 so-called peaceful passages. CP, uh, anything you want to add? Well, you know, we need to understand that uh, the Muslim, they use certain verses, which is not really what it's meant. Muhammad is a person of stages. So Muhammad, when he was living in Quraysh, he never said, I want to go in war. I never said, I'm going to kill you. Uh, but when he got armed and ready, then he said in the hadith, I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they say shahada and they say there's no God but Allah and no prophet You're but lying. me. And they do pray as we pray and they slaughter Stop as we lying. slaughter. Find, and, they, the uh, the Quran, uh, and they pay zakat. And then and <laughs> only then I will stop shitting their Muhammad blood. Can so be here you see no Muhammad rules. announcing what he from meant Allah. by uh, uh, like f- fight only those who fight you. Yes. So who is the one who fight him? Is the one who don't accept to say Allah is God don't no, accept to say right. Muhammad is a prophet. No. Don't accept to pay zakat. No. Don't accept to pray. No. And even to slaughter, right. which means if you break any of those, Muhammad, he will kill you. No. And this is all over in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih uh, being... Muslim, all over. So Muslim cannot deny it. So this is the constitution of Muhammad. Are you going to deny To fight Allah all mankind, said... no exception, for sure, except the Muslims. Unless, even the Muslim, <laughs> if he broke any of those commands, Muhammad still will kill him and take his property. And actually, if the Muslim, they keep saying that Islam is about defense, what about the war of upper state? The war of upper state was launched against upper state, which means, this is why it's called, this is why the Muslims themselves, they call it Harub al which means the war of upper state. So the reason to fight them is just because they are not uh, paying zakat, not praying, not worshiping Allah, not believing in Muhammad. So this is the reason to kill them. Same as the chapter 929 says, fight those from the Christians and the Jews. Muhammad, when he finished, chapter of at was the last chapter almost in the Quran. When Muhammad, he finished with the, uh, with the Arab pagans like him. Uh, now he, he's in control. So he said, if I've been victorious, I'm going to expel all the Christians and all the Jews. So right away he come with the chapter 9, 29 says, fight those who don't believe Allah and Allah and the last day, etc. They're going to stop the right there. The they never go to, till they so pay the, the Jews and the Christians are targeted to be killed till. and to do what genocide means, and in to English. expel them from the Arabian Basra. And now, you know, uh, Fad, you are from Saudi Arabia. You know that in Saudi Arabia, there is single zero, zero Christian can say he is a Christian. Why? Because you they damn liar. They got they churches. Expel them. They got churches. That's what Sharia law is listen, all about. Listen, listen. They will never finish this verse till they pay the jizya. What does it mean? What does it mean till they do this? Fight him till he leaves. That means that if he leaves, stop fighting him. Fight him till he pay the jizya. If he pay the jizya, stop fighting him. Now the other verse saying, fight those. They violate it. Wherever you find them, there was a treaty. You violated the 3D. I will beat the hell out of you. I was in my four months of prohibition. You came, you violated it. You knew that I couldn't find I couldn't find you back within those months. And you come and killed me, I will chase you. And what is the end of those verses? But if you forgive them, Allah loves the forgivers. Beside all of that, Allah said, you can forgive them. You could fight them back if you want to, but if you want to forgive them, I'm with you. You don't have that in the Bible. Your Bible said in Isaiah, kill the children, kill the monkeys, kill the donkeys, kill, the, kill everybody. Your Bible said, keep the virgins for you. Keep the virgins for you. This video is getting too long, uh, sisters and brothers. Peace be upon all of you. You just heard him say, in chapter 9 now, is the last one. If 9 is the last, how about 5? 5 was 112. Now, 5 is the first one because he was emphasizing on God saying that I have completed your religion. 5 was not a, the, the first one. 5 was the 112. And 9 was the 113. They followed each other. So he was a liar. Over here, he's saying 9 is the last one. Why didn't he say that 9 was the first one? No. Because he want to emphasize in the violence. That's how hypocrite Christian Prince is. He knew no, chapter number 5 in the Quran 
is chapter number 112 revealed. He knew that chapter number 9 in the Quran. And I made a comment in that. If you go to that live on David Wood, you will see me made a comment. David looked at it. David knew he was lying. He knew he was lying. He, he, he never said anything about it. They never mentioned my comment. I said chapter 5 was 112 out of 114. They never mentioned it because they are deceivers. They are liars. Peace be upon all of you. Just showing that those hypocrites are liars. David Wood, now they got this, this guy Al-Fahdi. They don't like him for now. Especially Christian Christians are going to like him because he be taking some of his audience, some of his money. You know, that's why he was reluctant first to be participating to this debate. And if you listen to here and the video was posted in the other channels, they're not the same. You're, you're, you're not going to hear Christian Prince talk in the other videos. He only will talk in his videos that the part that he chooses to talk into, into his channels and being shared by his people. But now they're all different. They got one video of 155 minutes, another one of 50 some minutes. They're all different. And, and Christian Prince had to do his life on this life. Why don't you just ask your people to come and join here? No, you won't do that because you're a coward. Peace be upon all of you. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Chapter 9 and chapter 5 are revealed about at the same time. Chapter 9 started being revealed first as 113. Uh, 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 I mean, chapter uh, uh, 5 as 112. And then chapter 9, nine was being revealed too. And then chapter 9 got done revealed before chapter uh, 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 chapter 5 got done revealed first before chapter 9. So they got revealed 112, 113 in the Quran. So don't say that chapter 5 is in the beginning and chapter 9 is at the end. They're both at the end because you're a deceiver, you're a liar, you're going to invent, you're going to create. Salamun alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuh.